In this video, we'll see how to automatically generate reports. How do we export the reports at particular location? What are the different formats of reports we can export? We can export three different formats basically. One is PDF, Word document and HTML. These are the formats. In that format, what are the contents you want? Do you want the step details? Do you want the screen recording or do you want the log tracking and so on? So what are the steps for, to be followed to generate results automatically onto the particular location? So you can see here, I have created a test as reports one. Okay, and I've recorded few things, agent name, password and okay button. Now, what are the settings I have to do before I execute that? So very first thing you have to go to the tools menu bar and you have to go to this options button. Now in that you get different tabs. So select the general tab and click on this run session. Now if you see the first checkbox in the run session, view results when the run session ends. So whenever the run session ends automatically you see the results. Which format do you see the results? That is the HTML report format. So that is default when you're using the newer version of UFT. If you're using older version of UFT, you have to, you get automatically this one, run results view report. So I've selected that. Now, what I said was, I want to automatically generate a report. So I'll select this checkbox, automatically export run results when the run session ends, right? So now, but I have to give the location, where is the export location? So I'll just click on this configure part and I'll get this dialog box. So in this dialog box, I have to select few things as per, as per my requirement. It says report types. These are the step details I'll get which type of document you want. Do you want a PDF, HTML or you want a Word document? I'll say I want a Word document here and few things you can select whatever you want in that area. After that, you can select the export location. Right now, I selected the export location as my desktop. So all the, uh, whenever the run session finishes, all the data, all the reports will be exported to my desktop place. And I'll just click on OK. Make sure if you want to change the report uh, location, you can select from here. You can click on this place and select the folder. I'll click on cancel and I'll now click on OK. Right, so that is the setting part you have to do and finally you can click on OK. Now when I execute, I'll show you the reports will be automatically generated on the desktop. So before that, I'll show you there's nothing on the desktop right now. I have just a flight reservation application, the uh, shortcut icon and I'll go back to the UFT. And now I'll click on run button here and I'll click on run. So now it will execute. Finally, after execution, it will show me the reports. Now why it's working multiple times because I've given four iterations. So therefore it's working for four different iterations and I've got the result here. The result format is, this is the format, run results viewer format. That's the format which I've selected, but I'm interested in exported results. So I'll just go back to the desktop and if you see, these are the results which are exported. I'll just double click and open. I've got two reports. One is for the data file and second is the step details. So if I double click here, see this is a report given here. Okay. HP Unified Functional Testing Report. This is the name of the file reports one. These are some details about the environment. What time, what date they have done it. And this is the details about it. Okay. So if you see, I have closed, I have clicked on move button and this is for third iteration. So iteration wise, all the details are given about this report, right? So this is the iteration for four and this one is iteration three. If I go up, it says as iteration two and so on. For every iteration, every step, what are the details they have given it? If you want to select some new four options, let's like say if you want the snapshots and all, you can select from that dialog box, a few options, so you'll get all the uh, required details from that place, right? So that is one report which is created. I'll just close it. There's one more report which is created. That's a data table. That's the Excel sheet. It is nothing but the agent name and the password. Okay, because I've worked for the four iterations. These are four agent name and four password. So if you have multiple agent name, multiple password, you'll get a separate Excel sheet which will have the entire data, right? So I'll just go back to my UFT now. Yeah. Right? So I hope you have understood how to create automatically reports into HTML format, into PDF format or the Word format and what are the settings required necessary to generate automatically reports. Right? I hope you have understood and that's all for this video.